Grant, I'm sure both teams have been eagerly looking forward to this one. Well, we always enjoy these rivalry matchups. I mean, facing a rival you've been battling in the rankings is always rewarding. And as a player, you get fired up and are ready to do whatever it takes to get the win. A look at the opening lineup for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Donovan Mitchell out there with Darius Garland. And it's Okoro in at the three slot. And for the Hawks, Collins plays the four with Capella at the five. Young runs point with Murray at the two. And it's Hunter in at the small forward position. Now here's Murray. Collins outside. No good with the triple. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Pass to Garland. Right side, Mitchell. Over Young. Mitchell's shot is good. A viable threat from the mid-range. Mitchell is excellent at recognizing when to take these shots. Collins with a screen on Mitchell. Murray passes to Collins. Yes. And it's Murray picking up the assist. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. Mobley, a screen on Young. Garland with the ball. And it's Young picking him up. And Mobley throws it down. Assessing that possession right there. Garland waiting for the opening to find the man. For Atlanta, they've gone one for three so far. Pass to Young. Back to Murray. Young with a screen on Mitchell. Murray for three. Count it. One for one to start the game. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Here's Okoro. Allen with a screen on Hunter. To the inside. Stolen by Capella. Young against Garland. Pass to Hunter. Uncovered. The shot, no good. And it's Cleveland the other way. Allen with it. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. To the middle. Good D by Mobley. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Mitchell with the ball. And it's Hunter picking him up. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And one of the big names on the move this past summer was Donovan Mitchell. Now you figured his time in Utah was up as the team decided to change their core up. Could be a game changer though with this roster, even with all they gave up to get him. Shoot two. He drops the first, and Grant Donovan Mitchell wears the number 45. Not one we see a lot of in the NBA. That's true, B.A., but Donovan's got a good reason to wear it, paying homage to Michael Jordan. Mitchell said growing up, everyone always took 23, so he went to MJ's return number, 45. Both free throws good for Mitchell. And you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line, and when he's on... He can be lights out. Back to Murray. Collins with a screen on Mitchell. Murray from outside. Oh, the Hawks again cannot hit it. Murray's gone one for three from the field here. Pass to Mitchell. Outside Garland. Back to Allen. Garland against Young. Four on the clock. The three from Mitchell. Capella with a rebound. Atlanta has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Hunter passes to Young. Now Collins. And that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul of the game.
Outside Hunter. Young, the pass to Capella. Ooh, stolen by Allen. Uh, a little head scratcher there, guys. There's no reason to force the ball inside like that. I understand the thought process, but uh, the pass just has to be better. I mean, what do you expect when you give him the clear look? That's just too easy. No, he's automatic from the mid-range, and the defense knows that. It's a mistake to give up a shot like that. Oh, and Mobley with the block. Here's Mitchell. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Well, after the first round exit in 22, the Hawks front brass admitted perhaps they've been too complacent with the Take roster. So break. that changed this Three summer, stop. trading for an all-star in DeJounte Murray. He can make a big impact with his two-way talent. The first one falls. And you know, guys, I don't think too many people expected the resurgence we saw from the Cavs last season. It started with their defense. Both good from the line that time. Well, in terms of their D, the Cavs have gone from one of the softer teams in the league to one of the toughest. Well, think about this. I mean, they're a young team. They play with tremendous energy, and we see that in the way they get after it on defense. The Cavaliers leading. Garland, the pass to Mobley. And here's Mitchell. Pass to Garland. Back to Allen. Outside Mitchell. Shot clock at six. Now Allen. Shoots over Capella. That's good from Allen on the assist by Mitchell. This is something Mitchell is only getting better at. Finding ways to get his guys good shots. Atlanta's gone one for three from beyond the arc. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Capella with it. To the wing on the left. Left side Young. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. Shot clock at five. Capella finds Young over Garland. Misses, and the dry spell continues. Indeed, giving him that shot, and that's probably not a good idea, but I guess they knew what they were doing that time. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. Here's the Kuro, guarded by Young. And Okoro gets it to go. They're locked in and focus on making each possession a success. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots. Knocked them down. And the game is fully in their control. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. You know, before they moved to Atlanta, the Hawks had a lot of playoff success. They made the NBA Finals four times in their first 12 years, and they won a championship, Brent. Yeah, recent years haven't been as kind, but they're getting back in the mix there, and it's been a half century since they've gotten to the Finals. They have some, they have some special players on this team, and the Hawks fans are, are really desperate to see them compete at that level again. Screen on Mitchell. There's Murray. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And you look at the numbers Murray puts up, Graham. He's a threat to post a triple-double on any given night. And I love that about him, B.A. I mean, he brings it in every aspect of the game. He doesn't hunt stats. The game just finds him. With his steal rate, 
might be the best bet to put up a quadruple double in the league one day. The free throw drops from Murray. And the DeJounte Murray trade sort of came out of left field. Seemed mutual as the Spurs went to a younger direction and wanted Murray to play for a contender. A trade where everyone involved gets what they want. And Murray drops them both. The Cavs have gone five of six. They're rolling. Outside Garland. The three ball. And they recover it. Pass to Allen. Stolen by Collins. Outside Murray. Capella, the pass to Young. Outside Murray. Here's Young. From outside the arc. Is rebounded by Okoro. Outside Mitchell. Back to Okoro. Shoots over Capella. And another basket for Cleveland. The Hawks trailing. Young with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Outside Garland. Pass to Mobley. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. You know you're doing something right when you find yourself up double digits in the first period. Well, dominant so far. That's the responsibility of the starters. Now let's see if everybody else who plays in this game makes the same kind of high-level contribution. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Well, that connection with Collins, that's a, an impressive play and very, very high percentage. Young against Garland. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Garland. From downtown. Atlanta with a rebound. Hunter on the wing. Check by Mitchell. Hunter passes to Young. Three-pointer, no good. Cleveland has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Outside Mitchell. Mobley is screened on Murray. From deep, Mitchell fires in the triple. Mitchell's got nine. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. Like tonight, that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team. Now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable. Here's Okoro. Pass to Garland. Outside Mitchell. Back to Allen. Mitchell finds Allen. Now here's Mitchell. Down to five on the shot clock. Knocked away. Soft touch off the glass. He's got 11. They've shown so much energy right from the start, particularly on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. You know who that was. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Murray, no good. Cleveland has gone one of four from deep. Here's Okoro. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And after a few seasons of anemic offense, the Cavs have finally started to turn things around. Yes, they have. And they made a big step forward. Now, there's a nice balance to their offense. This Hawks offense can be explosive when they're hitting. They can hurt you from inside and out. Shoot they two. move the ball well, and they run well as a team. And he makes the first. And for the Hawks and their offense, they put up points and take care of the ball, Brent. That's a pretty good recipe, B.A. This is a young team, but taking care of the ball and valuing possessions, that's hard to get through to young players. They've done a great job of that. So is their coaching staff. So this offense could be in a great situation for years to come. And good on the second, so he makes them both. On offense, here are the Hawks. 
They trail by 16. Holiday against Rubio. Outside Holiday. A shot to stop the run. And that's a foul called on Ricky Rubio. That's his first foul of the game. Griffin, he's checked in for Atlanta. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Osman, he's checked in for Okoro. Lavert goes against Holiday. Over Lavert. Second chance shot. And he lays it up and in. He seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. We see that pay off. Rubio passes to Mobley. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Holiday against Rubio. Holiday passes to Bogdanovich. That three's off the mark. Now here's Levert. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Mobley, a screen on Holiday, down low. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Cavaliers? Well, right away, we've seen them finding points with solid post play. I mean, they're playing aggressively and fighting for it down there. Shooting two. Now, getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. He's off on the first. And he's good on the second. And for Atlanta, they're shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. Outside Holiday. Here's Griffin. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It's going to be Evan Mobley. First one falls for him. And he makes both free throws. Cleveland has gone one of four from deep. Holiday against Rubio. Inside. Ooh, Griffin with the steal. And a fast break now for the Hawks. Pass to Holiday. Now Griffin. The fader. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. He was wide open, but just to make sure, he put a little fade on that jumper. Rubio passes to Levert. Mobley, a screen on Holiday. Osman on the wing. Clock at six. Shoots over a Kongwu. And so the ball out of bounds. Mobley touched it last. A minute and a half left in the first. Pass to Bogdanovich. Here's a Kongwu. Covered by Love. There's the alley. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. 
Levert goes against Holiday. Mobley passes to Rubio. For three. The rebound by the Hawks. Pass to Griffin. On the wing, Holiday launches the three. The shot no good. And Cleveland the other way now. Now Mobley, defended by Griffin. It's Levert on the wing. And another miss by Cleveland. The Hawks shooting just 25% from the field in the first quarter. Holiday passes to Holiday. And here's Griffin outside. Good D by Mobley. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Mobley, a screen on Holiday. The shot by Rubio, no good. Griffin passes to Bogdanovich. And he drives in. The kick out to Griffin. Pass to Bogdanovich. Fires for three. No good on the shot. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers in command with a 13-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. We'll be right back after this word. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And guys, the Cavaliers enjoying a nice lead here. Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there. You know, Grant, sometimes with certain flagrant fouls, you'll hear people say it was a dirty play, but not a dirty player. But when does it become both? Well, we all understand, B.A., dirty plays aren't good for the game. But sometimes a flagrant foul will happen. A lot of times, though, you have to factor in a pattern of behavior. I really believe players who have a history of being called for a lot of flagrant fouls plays a big role in how it's perceived. All right, on the floor for Cleveland, getting going in the second. Darius Garland is out there with Mitchell. Then there's Kevin Love. Then there's Mobley. And it's Levert in at the three spot. Going beyond mere stats, Mitchell breathes life into this offense. His energy lifts everyone around him. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. one goes in two from the line that time the Hawks shooting a low 26 percent from the field Collins with a screen on Mitchell Murray with it he's picked up by Garland the kick out to Young it's good and the assist goes to Murray there is an effortless kind of motion to what Trey Young can do especially when he's shooting from that deep and he lobs it up to the rim hook loose the die for the ball, and out of bounds. Atlanta will have it. Second quarter of basketball, about a minute played so far. Pass to Capella, outside Murray. Back to Capella, tipped. It's stolen by Love. Garland against Young. Here's Mitchell. That one is off. Good D by Murray. Here's Collins. Oh, sweet move. And the layup is up and in. Collins has got four points this quarter. And he really enjoys inside play. John Collins explosive there. Murray against Mitchell. 
pass to Garland. Six on the shot clock. To the paint. Collins with it. Now guarded by Mobley. Young, the pass to Murray. Back to Young. Inside. Here's Collins. Oh, and Mobley with the block. Garland against Young. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. The shot by Levert, no good. The Hawks have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Murray passes to Collins. The 11-footer. And they'll get another chance. Now Young. Collins with a screen on Garland. Pass to Collins. Over Love. Oh, and it's Collins. That time on the assist by Young. Collins has got 10. From the middle, part of Collins' game that is developing. Nice work, and that's paying off. From deep, Mitchell. That shot off the mark. And Atlanta will come the other way. And you know what, Trey Young? He almost embraces being the villain to other teams' fan bases. It's like he feeds off the fans heckling him on the road. Garland for three. Buries it. He's two for four in this game. Garland right now really doing a nice job of staying in perpetual motion. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Young, the pass to Murray. Kicks it out to Collins. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got four assists in the game. And Grant, as you said, with Young. He's been the villain in the playoffs more than a few times. Yeah, B.A., players who can embrace that are good for the NBA. Trey Young has fun being a thorn as a visiting player, and he always backs it up with his play. And here's Levert for three. The offensive rebound. Here's Mobley. Good on the 13-footer. Nine points in the game. Atlanta's gone two for two from the arc here in the second. Outside Murray. Capella, screen on Mitchell. Murray passes to Bogdanovich. And the Hawks with another three. Trying to improve every year. That's the goal of anyone in the NBA. Bogdanovich has great fundamentals to be able to do that. And the Cavaliers call time here. Hunters checked in for DeJounte Murray. Allen, he's checked in for Cleveland. Cleveland has gone just one of five so far this quarter from three. To the left side wing. Garland against Young. Down low. To the middle. Levert outside. No good from outside. Well, we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense and trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. Now here's Young. Here's Collins. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. And now just a three-point Cavalier lead. And just getting more and more dangerous on the pick-and-roll situation. John Collins with a smart play there. Garland, the pass to Allen. Back to Garland. On the wing, Mitchell. Nails it from beyond the arc. Mitchell's got 16 points now. I love it. Just thumbing his nose at the height disadvantage. He's able to get the space he needs and convert. Yeah, defense has got to be a little bit better, especially when he's looking to fire from that distance. Now here's Young. Here's Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. Just do your work, try to get open, and Trey's going to find you. Here's Garland. They lead by four. Levert outside. Allen a screen. Puts it up from 12. The shot by Levert, no good. 
Something's off about him this quarter. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. Young finds Hunter. Bogdanovich with it. Just four to shoot. The Hawks need to get one up here. It's stolen by Love. Levert goes against Bogdanovich. Here's Mitchell. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. You love to see Mitchell explode like this on offense. A guy who has so much potential as an elite scorer. Outside Bogdanovich. Let's it go from deep. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got five rebounds in the game. To the inside. Mitchell. It's deflected. Now you don't see a lot of shot blocks from Bogdanovich, but he is big enough to get it done. Pass to Young. There's the triple. Buries it from three. Six points for him. Easy look when the defender isn't fighting over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Allen. Darlin for three. He can't get that one to go. He's just two of five now from the field. And here's Young. Collins passes to Hunter. Another three for Atlanta. And the defense better start respecting DeAndre Hunter from that kind of range. Outside Garland. Top of the key. And the jumper is on the mark. Garland's got five points now this quarter. The Hawks trailing. Pass to Collins. To the middle. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Interesting night where you're getting this kind of production from Collins. They're going to lean on him a little bit more now. Here's Garland. He has seven. Allen with it. Guarded by Capella. From deep, Mitchell. Cleveland, the rebound. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Akangwu's checked in for Capella. Griffin comes in for John Collins. Holiday's checked in for Bogdanovich. And Holiday subbed in for Trey Young. Osman, he's checked in for the Cavs. Rubio comes in for Darius Garland. One shot. provides three things consistently when he's playing. He'll rebound, he'll score a little bit, and he'll definitely give you rim protection. So, not a guy trying to shoot a bunch of three. Griffin passes to Hunter. Love against Griffin. Knocks it loose. Six to shoot. Outside Holiday from behind the arc. The Cavaliers pull it in. 17 points was their biggest margin. Rubio passes to Allen. Now Love. Here's Osman. Pure from three-point range. And Love has a knack for recognizing when a teammate's going to break wide open. Holiday finds Griffin. Down low. Here's a Kongwu. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. There's a screen by Love. Osman. Off target from three point range. Atlanta is shooting pretty well at 45%. Griffin passes to Holiday. Shakes him. Oh, rejected by Allen. How about the length from the big guy? Enables him to guard just about anybody, anywhere. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. And this is exactly why he's out here. In order to block shots in tight games like this. Cleveland on D. Four-point game. 
and wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Hunter passes to Holiday. Just five on the clock. The three is up. Love grabs the miss. The Cavaliers shooting just 37% from the field in the second quarter. Rubio with the ball. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. LeVert. That shot, no good. Hunter with some nice D. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. The ball's knocked loose. Rubio with a steal. Allen with a screen on Holiday to the paint. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And sometimes basketball is pretty easy, especially when you have a big guy. Get it to the big fella down low. That's Allen and forced the D to foul. Throw good from Allen. Mobley, he's checked in for Love. So both free throws good from Allen. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Holiday. Mobley grabs the board. The Cavaliers leading. Pass to Osman. And here's Mobley. He's covered by Holiday. And Mobley gets it to go. Mobley's got 11 points. Oh, that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Outside Hunter. Let's go with a three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got rebound number seven tonight. Outside Rubio. There's 39 seconds left in the second period. Connects from downtown. Getting the feet set. Ricky Rubio can't get in the zone from the three-point line. Outside Hunter. And the foul called on Evan Mobley. That'll be a second foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. And the Hawks making a change here. Murray's checked in. Thirty-two seconds left in the second period. Griffin, a screen on the vert. Murray for three. Cavaliers with a rebound. 17 points was their biggest margin. Allen finds Rubio. Pass to Levert. Launches it. It's another three for Cleveland. And Rubio's passes lead to a boost in confidence for the entire team. And so it's the Cleveland Cavaliers. A sizable lead of 14 at the break. They've been in total control in this game, and they hope it continues. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere.
Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. What a game we're seeing from Donovan Mitchell. He took a head-on approach in the first half, going straight at the D and drawing fouls. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Young runs point with Murray at the two. Hunter is the three with Collins at the four. And it's Capella in at the five. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Going by Collins on the push. Here comes Atlanta. And then it's Collins with the dunk. Like it when Collins is cleaning up the glass and then just rocking the rim. And it's the Cavaliers with the ball. Leading by 12. And when John Collins takes off from the floor, you can feel your hair start to stand up. One of the most explosive players in the league with this incredible lift off. A strong step to the rim, and he can demolish anything in his path. Simply an electric player at times. Free throw good from Allen. the second and Clint Capella takes pride in his defense he knows what he's on the floor for he will never back down from a challenge and doesn't take plays off Murray finds Young the rebound by Donovan Mitchell now the defense better tighten up on the mid-range they're much much tighter you expect him to make every single one of those oh not the defensive effort they need to cut into the lead or a good call you have to at least try to protect the rim Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Here's Hunter. The Cavs getting their last shot to go. And Collins with the slam. Wow. Pretty much an unbelievable slam there, B.A. Well, you got that right. Cleveland shooting around 51%. That's a good number. And with Capella in his defense, he's a vocal leader on that end of the floor drain. Well, he will hold guys accountable in the locker room. Capello knows it takes five committed players to play great defense, and he wants everyone on his team to buy in. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. Young, the pass to Capella. Back to Young. 13 feet out, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Young's got eight. Great to watch Trey Young set plays up on a nightly basis. Garland, the pass to Allen. From deep, Mitchell. Five on the clock. Garland for three. Rebound Atlanta. Capella's got five rebounds tonight. Outside Hunter. Takes the three. Young can't hit. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Mitchell with the ball. Checked by Murray. And that one's good. Donovan Mitchell for three. Mitchell's got 21. It does a lot for their spacing when Mitchell's draining threes. That's what they want from him. He can really open things up for their bigs inside. Now here's Young. Give him eight points now. The three. And it's Young again missing. The Cavaliers have gotten three or four shots to fall so far in the third. Pass to Garland. Back to Okoro. Mobley on a screen. 
Off target with the three. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. Here's Murray. Jump shot is good that time. He's got seven. Cleveland has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. Mobley outside. Pass to Garland. Back to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. And sometimes it looks like for Garland the game comes a bit easy, whether making plays for himself or others. The Hawks have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Now here's Mitchell. He's got 21. Mobley on a screen. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. Bogdanovich has checked in for Atlanta. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Love's checked in. have gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. Murray passes to Collins. Pass to Young. Capella with it. Shot clock at six. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got six assists now in the game. Here's Garland. He's got seven. Now here's Mitchell, defended by Murray. And DeJounte Murray is going to pick up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. And that puts them just one foul from the bonus. Love passes to Mitchell. This one for three. Okoro on the wing. Outside Mitchell. Love a screen on Murray. Five to shoot. Back to Okoro. Jacks up a three. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got six rebounds in the game. Murray passes to Young. Collins with a screen on Garland. Mobley with the block. Here's Mitchell. Pass to Mobley. Okoro on the wing. And here's Love. Excellent D there from Capella. Now here's Young. Collins right side. Now here's Young. Puts up a three. Sends it home from three-point land. Young's got 11. Big man John Collins seeing the court that time. Now Garland. He has seven. Love passes to Mitchell. Mitchell double team. The three from Okoro. And the foul called on Evan Mobley. That's his third foul so far. For Atlanta, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Ali. Well, guys, the NBA markets itself behind its star players, but Commissioner Adam Silver understands what makes the game tick. He said, quote, this is a team sport. In order to truly win championships and compete at the highest level, all the players have to come together. So true, Ali. Thank you. Now a timeout called by Atlanta.
Here's Collins. Give him 23. Up top, Young. Pass to Murray. Collins with a screen on Mitchell. Inside. From six feet away. Oh, and Mobley with the block. And here's Garland. He's got seven. Mitchell with the ball. And it's Young picking him up. Mobley, right side. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Cleveland has gone just one of five from three-point range here in the third quarter. Pass to Garland. Back to Mobley. Here's the Kuro, guarded by Young. Oh, they need this! And Okoro gets it to go. Okoro's got 10. Okoro making the right decision that time to keep it and score it. Collins outside. Young against Garland. Let's the three fly. And Young is good for three. Young's got eight points here in the quarter. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Mobley. Pass to Love. Outside Garland. Clock at six. Love, a screen on Young. Garland for three. Rebound Atlanta. Capella's got eight rebounds in the game. Murray with it. He's got seven. Capella can't get it to go. Young against Garland. The three is up. Atlanta with a rebound. Capella's got nine rebounds now. The Hawks have gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Well, in the 2020-21 season, Clint Capella showed how valuable he can be, Brent. Yeah, he led the league in offensive and defensive rebound percentage for his career. He's averaging double digits on the glass. But that season, B.A., man, that was ridiculous even by his standards. And so the ball out of bounds. Mobley touched it last. And a new group getting ready for the Hawks. Akongu's checked in for Clint Capella. Griffin comes in for Collins. Holiday's checked in for Murray. And Holiday subbed in for Young. Atlanta's gone two for five from three since halftime. Holiday against Rubio. Who poked away? It's stolen by Rubio. Mobley, a screen on Bogdanovich. Second chance effort. Beyond the arc. Osman with the bucket. Osman's got six. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Cleveland. Yeah, they've collected an impressive number of steals so far, using fast hands to force some turnovers, and then scoring on the other end. And, and all game long, they've been finding blocks. Their focus on strong rim protection has helped stifle the opposing team's offense. Here's Rubio, and he knocks down the 10-footer. Five points in the game. No room on that play, and Rubio finds a way to create that jumper. Here's Holiday, looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Bogdanovich. Griffin outside. Now Holiday. Over Rubio. Holiday finds Griffin. Just five to shoot. And we're going to have a jump ball. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. Pass to Levert. Takes a three. Cleveland the rebound. It's Levert on the wing. Over Holiday. The shot by Levert. No good. Atlanta is shooting well here in the third, hitting 50% of their shots. And the foul called on Karis Levert. That's his first foul of the game. 
Hunters checked in for Griffin. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Osman. Stolen by Mobley. Mitchell with the ball. Guarded now by Holiday. Rubio against Holiday. Rubio passes to Love. Holiday against Mitchell. Five to shoot. And here's Levert for three. And they get it back. Offensive rebound. They shoot again. And it's Love laying it in. And the Cavaliers lead by 18. Yeah, when you give up these second chance opportunities, I don't know what you expect. Kevin Love is going to find a way to get in there and make something good happen. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Well, Cleveland shooting just 36% in the third. Rubio passes to Mitchell. Three-pointer off the mark. Atlanta's gone two for five from three since halftime. Pass to Okongwu. Bogdanovich on the wing. And the Hawks with another three. When Bogdan is set in the corner, feed him. He loves those shots. Can make him in his sleep. And a chance to add to the lead here. Yeah, B.A., they should really stick with what they've been doing. Here's Rubio. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Holiday with the ball. Now Levert defending. Pass to Okongwu. Here's Hunter. Back to Okongwu. Outside Holiday. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Rubio passes to Levert. Now Love. Hunter covering. Here's Mitchell. He's got 21. Outside Rubio. He buries it from three. Rubio's got eight points. Well, Ricky set up really well on that particular play. And so it's Cleveland in control with a 16-point advantage heading into the break. Really mucking it up on defense. Active hands, multiple efforts, forcing turnovers. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And Cleveland, looking at who they've got to start the fourth. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Darius Garland is out there with Ricky Rubio. And it's Levert in at the three, the small forward. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happened. Oh, got that bucket in no time at all. Nice dribble move to get to the hoop for an easy two. Cleveland's shooting pretty well at 45%. Here's Mobley. And there are the Cavaliers with another bucket. Here's Young. Pass to Collins. To the middle. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. They'll pin that one on Jared Allen. Well, Bogdanovich being a little bit crafty there, knowing the defense was closing in on him, and drew the contact. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots.
And he knocks down the first one. You know, you watch Bogey and how he can orchestrate. He's an underrated playmaker, Grant. Yeah, B.A., the assist numbers don't jump out at you. But he has great core vision at all times. Runs the pick and roll well and is shifty in the paint. And so Bogdanovich nails them both. When you think about careers and how they unfold for this guy, Bogdanovich, played in Serbia and Turkey for five years, leading up to getting over to the NBA. It's been pretty seamless. Now here's Garland. Mobley and screen on Young. Garland with the ball. And it's Young picking him up. Garland, no good. And Atlanta shooting 44%. A pretty decent clip. Murray against LeVert. Young, the pass to Murray. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bogdanovich. Good. He hits the jumper. Well, with foreign players like Bogdanovich, you often hear how much that international experience helped him prepare for the NBA break. And Bogdan, no exception to this B.A., and I think it has a lot to do with the physicality of European basketball. You hear it a lot from guys coming over is that they can deal with the way the NBA is such a free-flowing offense. This kid is confident, unpredictable, and he stretches the floor. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Young, the pass to Collins. And here is Young. Collins with a screen on Garland. To the inside. Rejected by Allen. And they'll keep possession. To the paint. Clock at four. Collins finds Young. Murray for three. Doesn't go for him. And Cleveland the other way now. Pass to Garland. Over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Shoots. And again, it's Cleveland converting. Garland showing some awareness on the pick and roll, breaking down the defense on the pick and roll action. Young, the pass to Collins. Young with it, guarded by Garland. There's the three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got rebound number eight here already in the game. Garland against Bogdanovich. Here's Mobley. And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Mobley's got 11 points here in the second half. For Atlanta, they've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Outside Murray. Collins with a screen on Garland. Young from long range. Lovered with a rebound. For Cleveland, they've gotten five of six shots to go in the fourth. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Garland. The shot from the low post is good. Garland's got six points in the quarter. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Atlanta's gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Young finds Murray. And he lobs it up top. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Pass to Levert. Allen with it. And here's Garland. Guarded by Young. Let's a floater go. And the shot is good by Garland. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. Hey, guess what? Mission accomplished. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of Effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. All right, time now to present our new balance player of the game, Evan Mobley. And tonight he served as the anchor on the defensive end. 
the opposition didn't get the memo about his defensive skills, clearly, <laughs> and he made them pay for it. He was just blocking shots away left and right out there. I'll tell you, this is the kind of game you love to have from your role players, putting up big numbers, filling in the gaps, and supporting your squad out on the road. Young inside, guarded by Garland, hits the trifecta. Hunter in rhythm is a much better shooter, and that shot looked nice. Now here's Garland. Pass to Okoro. Down low. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. I, I really don't think there's any way to slow them down. They have the defense scrambling out there. Well, nothing that they're doing seems to be making an impact. And there are some nights where you just run out of options, whether it's by personnel or by tactic. And Atlanta has possession. After the Cavs picked up a basket a moment ago, Murray finds Young. Driving to the basket. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. That's a great move by Trey Young and a brave one at that, playing right into the defender. I mean, Trey Young, do, do you love the confidence? I mean, he is boiling over with it. One shot. Free throw is good. Young. And Young will challenge your defense from every distance, Brent. And look, this guy, B.A., has unlimited range, has an elite floater game, and you bring in two guys defensively, and he'll find the option that's open. Pass to Allen. Shoots over Capella. Outside for Levert. The three. Rebound Atlanta. Not himself from range right now, but the only way out of this funk is to keep trying. Young, the pass to Capella. Fires from deep. And there's Young. That's good. On the assist by Capella. Young's got 14 points here in the second half. Levert outside. Young against Garland. Shoots over Young. And the shot is good by Garland. And the Cavaliers lead by 19. Garland out there doing a great job creating space with the handle. Playing with some confidence. There's Young with the three. Another three for Atlanta. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. Mobley on a screen. Over Collins. Mobley, no good. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Deflects the pass. Rejected by Allen. Outside Garland. Pass to Allen. Now Garland. And Garland gets doubled. Clock at six. Allen finds Garland. Levert with the ball. From deep. They get it back. Now Allen. Oh, misses the dunk. Wow. 
Wow, he doesn't miss many of those. He's such a strong finisher and tight. Here's Capella. Pass to Young. Back to Capella. Murray against LeVert. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And DeAndre Hunter is still just a young talent here in the league. But in college, he was a champ, winning the trophy in 2019. Shoot two. The free throw drops from Murray. Having a national championship at the collegiate level is rarer than you think for an NBA player. Well, it puts him in great company, and it's pretty much guaranteed proof of why everyone was so interested in his progress. He's a winner, and he's got tons of potential. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Cleveland. So he gets them both. Cleveland has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. The floater. Capella with a block. Well, that's just great timing. Interfering with those long limbs. Capella with another shot block. Now Young. There's the drive. And he gets that one. Young's got 11 points in the quarter. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Well, the Cavaliers shooting around 53% in the fourth. Outside Mitchell. Three-pointer. Cleveland gets it back. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Here's Atlanta with the ball. They're on a 16-6 run. Young, the pass to Murray. Outside Hunter. 4-3. Mobley grabs the board. Mobley's got 12 rebounds here tonight. Big time effort. Pass to Garland. Allen with a screen on Young. And he's going for the lob! It's Allen who slams it home. And Jared Allen, one of the best rim runners we have in the league. What a dunk. The Hawks have gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Garland against Young. Fires the three. And there's Collins on the assist by Young. Collins has got nine points here in the second half. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. And I don't know how they keep doing this, but every time down, the resulting possession ends up at the three-point line and a fairly efficient shot attempt at that. Cleveland calls timeout. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. J.B. Bickerstaff had some words for his team over the break. He spoke about their approach going forward. He believes that this is a mental battle. He told his players how we think about each possession will determine the outcome. Let's stay locked in. Thanks for that, Allie. Garland. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got seven rebounds in the game. Inside. The 15-footer. They grab their own miss. Okay, it appears an injury out on the floor, and that does not look good. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about no matter your age or your ability. Yep, you can do all the stretching and all the strength training, eat right, train right, but at the end of the day, it's pretty random. The Cavaliers making a switch here. Love's checked in.
Cleveland has gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. Atlanta has gone 4 of 8 from 3-point land during the 4th. And here is Young. The kick to Hunter from the arc. Cavaliers with the rebound. Mobley's, they can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. Garland against Young. Fires the 3. And that one's good. Well, you know he can hit that. He's done that for years. This part of his game has made him so valuable. Young, the pass to Collins. Capella, screen on Garland. Young finds Capella. Stolen by Mobley. Young against Garland. Mobley, a screen on Young. Pass to Mobley. 17-foot shot on the way. And that one hits the back iron. Well, he finds some space in that in-between gap there. Too bad he can't release that one on target. Here's Mitchell. 125 left in the fourth quarter here. Love a screen on Murray. Here's Mitchell, and he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. What you love about Mitchell, he plays with energy, explosiveness, and courage. Free throw is good for Mitchell. Both free throws good for Mitchell. We've got 113 left in the final quarter. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise to the end of the game and chalk up the victory for the Cavaliers. One area where they set themselves apart today, their aggressiveness in getting steals. It really hindered their opponent all game long. And of course, it helped spark their own offense. And they got a lot of great solo efforts tonight, but probably none bigger than the performance for Evan Mobley. And so many times on the defensive end showed off those quick mitts, jumped all over the opposition and swiped the ball away a number of times. It's nice they found their rhythm here, but the clock is just not their friend. Yeah, it's tough to mount a comeback like this and then fall oh so short. I'm sure that's weighing on them just a little bit. Love for three. He can't hit that time. So Atlanta will take it the other way. There's Young with the three. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll head to the line for three. There's some steely moments that come from Trey Young, and I'll tell you what, if the defense is getting under his skin, he rarely shows that. He shot. Three shot. And he's good on the first of three. And the second free throw is good.
and he makes all three. There's 21 seconds left in the game. Outside Rubio. And so it's the Cavaliers taking care of business in this one. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. So alongside Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. So long, everyone.